everybody subscribing and sharing. And on the last episode with 49, you saw me measuring piston to valve clearance with the dial indicator and that method. Now what we're gonna do is pull this head off and we're gonna do it with a clay method. But let's check it out, let's see what we get. So we'll pull off these rocker arms. This is the yellow terra I've mentioned about a hundred times. We already talked a million times about the push rods I got from Smith Brothers. Thanks guys, I do appreciate that. They hooked me up for sure. You can use them on all my other builds. And like I said before, with people that sponsor me, if anybody has any questions, call those sponsors up and talk to them. And tell, you, tell them I sent you. All right, I got that fitted with clay. And the main thing is you want to make sure it sticks to the piston and it doesn't get pulled back off so you can, once you do the impression of the valve by turning the engine over, then you can cut it and measure it. And that's what we're gonna do. So make sure you spray the combustion chamber with some like WD-40 or something. Let me show you what it looks like. So typical of the Cleveland, the way the piston is, the intake, the exhaust, these are gas ported. But you wanna make sure that the radial aspects in here that you're not gonna get clay in here and it's gonna get down inside here or in any of the gas ports. So the clay's all ready. Let's uh, take this cylinder head and spray it with some the old Super Tech Walmart. Like I said, the head gaskets in there. That's always a good deal. Nut and washer. You know, I do go around the chamber like four of them, and then that's to me that's good. And obviously, I don't torque anything. Snug it down. And I know that's exhaust. Intake. You can feel them, how they fit in there. Again, we're going to have zero lash. No doubt. So we're good. Let's let's turn it over. One revolution. Two, I don't care. Let's turn it over. There we go. Turns over pretty easy. I can feel, I think I feel it hitting the clay. That should be top dead center. Yep. Main thing is to make sure you're not dropping stuff in, in the motor. So I haven't put the pan back on just in case something fell or had something crazy going on. There's the final outcome. Let's see. Whew. Yeah, it did. It kind of smushed it out. There's no doubt about that. Hardly anything on the exhaust. But definitely pushed out there around the radial area. We'll measure that and see, we'll cut it open. Let's see what we got with this razor blade. We can cut right through here. We'll look at like the closest area for this exhaust. So the intake valve's gonna take a little more care because I don't want to wreck it. All right, so there we go. I'll kind of get out of the camera for a minute and I'll measure this and you can see how close it is uh, with the clay method. It's pretty impressive. It barely even touched the clay on the exhaust. So let's measure it and see. Calipers on, zeroed. And I'll turn it this way. Maybe you can see it better. I don't know. And I just want to just touch it. 106 thousandths right there.
let's try this intake. And it looks pretty close here. We'll go way out to the side, out to the edge. I just left a barely a mark on that. 80 thousandths right there. Measure it again in the mid aspect. Seventy six thousandths. We'll go right to this edge. Seventy nine thousandths. Pretty damn close with that clay with no lash to dial indicator with no lash. Pretty close.